Today is Tuesday, April the 8th, 2014 at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. We're going to be running this material here and uh, get a little closer look at it. And it is described as pre-treated and washed biomass. We received the sample from OptiFuel. There's a sample of the material as received in that baggie there. We're going to be pressing it in our CP4 screw press. As is typical of Vincent presses, we have the drive at the inlet end. Here is the inlet hopper. Aha! If you look in the bottom there, you see the screw rotating, the continuous portion of the screw. And uh, it forces material into the screen section. The screen, behind the screen is a, a discontinuous screw. There's interruptions in the flighting, and everywhere there's an interruption in the flighting, there's a tooth that sticks down in there that prevents co-rotation and helps keep the material moving. The, um, this particular machine has four stages of compression. The liquid is to come out through the screen. The solids must make their way out past this air actuated discharge cone. Uh, the amount of air pressure on the cylinder corresponds to the amount of pressure on this bronze cone. The higher the pressure, uh, generally the drier the material coming out. So usually we'll start with the cone open until you see some material falling out of the end and then Utilizing the four-way valve, close the cone. The press comes with a filter regulator lubricator and that cone reversing valve. There's a little bit of biomass that came out before we close the cone. Here we have a pail to collect the press liquor. It falls into the pan and out of that drain there. Here you can see the screw shaft. It's coming out of the gearbox and going into the inlet hopper. That black UHMW is the seal plate so that if you have uh, free liquid in the material in the inlet hopper, it won't leak out. We're definitely getting some liquid out at this point. If there's free liquid in the material fed to the press, you usually see it come out here at the inlet end of the screen. And then uh, as, but in this case, there isn't that much in the way of free liquid, there's none. So instead, we're seeing the dewatering start at the high pressure end here and then work its way back as the press fills up. This stuff is spitting a lot through the screen, which says the screen's blinding the water. Yes. Um, if you see a lot of spitting, which which you I don't know if you'll pick it up in the video or not, it indicates that the screen is blinding over and then uh, unblinding momentarily and you're getting the shot of liquid coming through. I'm at 30 PSI, I'm reluctant to go higher for getting false results. Try a, you want to try a reversing, Bob? Let's see if it improves the liquid flow. Just to confirm your blinding observation. Uh, Let's 
take. Cycle, Bob? Um, no, it didn't. Oh, I had. It won't hurt. All right, we're going to run the screw in reverse for a few revolutions. All right. Now we're going to go forward again, and that should increase the amount of liquid coming out through the screen. Okay, there it starts. Hey, I am getting a lot heavier flow. Yeah, I think that. Maybe a screen change or the auto reversing, but I doubt you'd need both. Yeah, this is a lot better. Vincent's machines all have the reducer mounting plate that is not attached directly to the side of the inlet hopper. That's because eventually that seal that I talked about earlier is going to leak. And if this gearbox was mounted directly onto the inlet hopper, that leakage would find its way into the gearbox and cause a gearbox failure. So this expensive design of having it offset allows the liquid to fall out and just go onto the floor. You know the, the seal is leaking at that point, so you can replace it if necessary. And it preserves the life of the gearbox. It's worked exceptionally well for us. we're getting, unless this is a high value liquid, we're not separating out enough to justify the screw press. Uh, this material has very little uh, free liquid in it. When you squeeze it in your fist, you can't get hardly a drop out either. So if it's going into a dryer, you're not getting enough savings to uh, justify the press. If there's something good in here, uh, yes, it would be worthwhile. thing on the list here is to get a pressed cake sample. back with the results of the moisture analysis.